Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to add Atari 800 and 5200 to Emulation Station for Windows. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and you're going to get this Atari 800 and 5200 Emulation Station add-on uh, 7-zip file. Go ahead and right click, extract here. So once you have that extracted, you're going to have two files and a folder. So we need to navigate to where we have our emulation station installed and we're going to go into dot emulation station ES systems dot CFG and we're going to open that with notepad plus plus. Next thing we're going to do is let's open up uh, add to ES underscore systems config uh, right click edit with notepad plus plus and you're going to want to highlight everything here copy and we have our ES systems I have mine open right here and I would just I already have Atari 800 but make sure that your layout is like this if you don't have Atari 800 if you already do just uh, highlight it all and paste it and then hit save and we'll minimize and then we have also add to ES systems config we'll right click edit with notepad plus plus and same thing we're gonna do the exact same thing here so we're gonna copy and I have my ES systems config here I'll find I already have Atari 5200 so I would just highlight this and paste it in there there we go and make sure you hit save once we've done that, we're going to take the dot emulation station folder, right click, and I'll cut, and we're going to back out one so that you can see the dot emulation station folder. And you're just going to paste this folder in here. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I, I already have it all done. But once you paste it, you're going to go to emulation station, ROMs, and you can add some games. So I have a uh, Pac-Man for Atari 800 and Choplifter for Atari 5200. So I am not familiar with this emulator. Um, this was a patron request and um, I'm not familiar with these systems so you will have to configure your controller uh, and how you go about that is portable game station dot emulation station systems Altera. Um, there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Now this is running on 64-bit. Um, the portable em this was designed mostly for the portable emulation station, um, so this will run 64-bit automatically. If you want it to run the 32-bit, if you're running a 32-bit uh, setup, you're going to want to go into your ES underscore systems config file again, and ensure that when you go to Atari 800 that you take out the 64 after Altera. So it should just say, I, here I won't save it, but it should look like this, altera.exe. Now, same with the Atari 5200, you're gonna wanna take out that 64, um, and then you would save it. I'm just gonna leave mine alone here, 64, and close. So, here is uh, another thing with this system and I don't know a faster way or a better way like I said I'm not familiar with this but this will get you up and running through emulation station so we have all that added we have our ROMs added let me just go ahead and launch so Atari 800 Pac-Man now this pops up every time I go to launch a game every time I launch a game this pops up so I stick with the recommended I click OK and I'm going to show you how to get rid of that we're going to go to file save firmware save cartridge now you're going to want to navigate to your portable game station emulation station ROMs I'm doing Atari 800 and I am going to name this 
whoops, Pac-Man. And I'm going to hit save. Now let's hit Alt F4 to go back to Emulation Station. I'm going to quit Emulation Station. Yes. And what it's done is now if we go into our ROMs, Atari 800, you can see we have a Pac-Man. This is a bin file. So this will be your game from here on out. You want to delete your other file. And now when we launch, I will go to Atari 800, Pac-Man. And there it is without that boot screen. Now if I go to view and hit full screen, and we exit. Every time we launch the game after that, it will launch in full screen. I'll go back to Emulation Station and I'll exit Emulation Station. Now you're going to have to do this for all of your Atari 800 ROMs as well as your Atari 5200 ROMs. Um, I do not know a better way. This is functional. It's it's working. Um, if you want to do your controllers, um, I know I already mentioned it, but Altera, and I'll just launch it. Oh, it launched Pac-Man on me. <laughs> Hold on. Alt Enter. You would just go to Input, Input Mappings, and uh, set yourself up there. And then port 1, you can choose what you're using. Uh, there's Xbox 360, uh, Xbox 360 Paddle A, Gamepad, so on and so forth. Um, I Like I said, I'm not familiar with this emulator, so this is just showing you uh, how it works, and hopefully it gets you off and running. So again, guys, I, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really appreciate everybody that's been a patron. Uh, anyone who wants to become a patron to support my channel, that would be phenomenal. Uh, have a good day, everybody.